The project, led by Professor Nishizono Akira, conducts collaborative research with the Philippines in Southeast Asia under the theme of the project for the establishment of the One Health Prevention and Treatment Network model for the elimination of rabies in the Philippines. Rabies is an infectious disease caused by bites from animals, including dogs, that are infected with a rabies virus. The fatality rate is almost 100% if it develops, so it's an extremely scary disease. In the Philippines, more than 200 people die from rabies every year. After being bitten by a dog, development of the disease can be prevented by applying appropriate disinfection to the wound and vaccination. This vaccination is free in the Philippines, but a shortage of vaccine has become an issue. Up to now, to determine whether or not a dog is infected with the rabies virus, a special diagnosis has been required, which involves opening the head and observing the infection of the dog's brain using a microscope. The project has developed a rapid diagnostic kit using an immunochromatography assay. This has enabled the rapid detection of the rabies virus from samples of, for example, sinus hair and the salivary gland instead of the brain. This simple test to see which animals are carrying the virus has now been made available. The project is also aiming to develop a rapid diagnostic kit for humans. Diagnosis of rabies has previously been complicated. All that could be done was the implementation of quarantine for a suspected patient and closely observing developments. The new kit for rapid diagnosis uses human saliva and blood. This has enabled a reality check of infections and the implementation of appropriate treatment. In addition, a new kit to provide an antibody test on humans has been developed. If you are bitten by a dog, you must receive a vaccine immediately. But in the past, because the antibodies of patients who had been vaccinated could not be checked, they repeatedly received vaccine. That was encouraging unnecessary vaccination. The newly developed antibody test kit can make a rapid diagnosis regarding the presence or absence of rabies virus antibodies, make it possible to confirm the need for vaccination. Lagayan from the Philippines is a student studying at a university in Japan. She is studying the rabies viral diagnosis method on her master's course. We are very excited about the, the, the new tools that we can use to diagnose in the field for the rabies cases in animals. So the, the project itself is uh, very helpful in improving our rabies program implementation. So we are very happy about that. The project has conducted publicity and awareness raising activities to residents in the areas where infected animals are found. It has also developed a control network model including a system for the transfer of information between the government and medical facilities. The project wants to develop a rabies control network model using the One Health approach. The model consists of a rapid yet simple diagnostic technique that can be used to confirm rabies in animals and a rabies data share system that will enable prompt preventive intervention in the event of a positive dog. Now, despite the many challenges that are brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic, the project has gained much ground. And we hope to continue collaboration with our Japanese colleagues, and we look forward to the success of this project. えっと、いうことが次のまず目標になっています。そしてそこで得られた
、まあ、フィリピン全土、まあ、さらにはフィリピンから狂犬病が非常に多いアジアアフリカなどにも生かしていければいいなというふうに考えています。